Elizabeth Faulkner. Charlie, take it away. Good morning, Ty. Yes, I'm so excited. I have meeting with us today as chef Elizabeth Faulkner, and she is born in San Francisco and grew up in LA, and we're so lucky to have her here in Beaver Creek this weekend. She's opened 11 restaurants over the last 30 plus years. Well, whatever. <laughs> you know, and, and I've watched a really great video, and so tell us a little bit about the video in particular I'm talking about. You are inspiring people to eat well and take care of their bodies, so you involve fitness within your cooking, is that right? You know, it's funny, I don't know if it's because I grew up in California or what, but um, I've always, it's also because I played soccer from nine years old until yes. I was 40. Started doing martial arts after that. Um, I started doing sword fighting uh, about 15 years ago. And then I ended up kind of merging my, all my worlds together. So I love sports. Um, obviously I love to cook. And um, and I want, I, I have come from a really arty family. So I turned it into like a performance piece called Crokenbush Samurai. So a Crokenbush, for people who don't know what that means, is a giant tower of cream puffs and so one of my performance art food pieces is um, building this bush. It's cut caramelized sugar all around it. It's really cool. Wow. And then I take my samurai sword and do kind of a Kill Bill routine with it. And um, it, I, I actually studied a practice called Junction uh, Fitness. It's based a little bit on Kendo, but more of a workout. And then I just do this, we did this really cool thing at Outside Lands in San Francisco where I dismantled it with a sword, with a real sword. So it was super oh fun. Oh my goodness. And people are like, what's going on? This is great. It is so great. And then, so you inspire people to be healthy and cook with good ingredients. And your food really speaks to that for me when I saw this video on your ingredients and the food that you actually cook. How does that inspire your cooking? Um, you know, I, because I've also like, I, I ran the New York Marathon when I was 50. Um, I do a lot of cycling for Chef Cycle, which is a, a bunch of chefs and people um, riding for No Kid Hungry. So it's a big fundraiser for that. Um, and you, it's no joke when you're doing like 300 mile bike ride or running a marathon or half marathons even. Um, you've got to like watch what's going on in your body. Yeah. yeah, you can eat. People might think, oh, you can eat anything you want, but not right. really because you really want to perform well. And I think it's the same for chefs. Like you... We have to perform like you have yes. to kind of although my diet in the last two days here has not been that great i drank some wine last night <laughs> i don't know it's beaver creek i'm oh, having fun drinking wine at altitude does that affect you yes i have to drink a lot of water <laughs> um and i take these uh, uh some super vitamin stuff you do so i mean you really have to fuel your body so i love that your fitness inspires your cooking and your recipes and you use fresh ingredients tell us where we can catch you what events can we find you at this weekend uh, last night we did a really super fun event. Um, it was all Alpine inspired at Ali's Cabin. And today we're um, making a California Mexican um, lunch at uh, Zach's. At Zach's? Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. So we can catch you there today. So you, you've had a busy schedule so far. So far, so, so far, mostly cooking, uh, a little bit of skiing uh, yesterday and a little bit later today, and then all day tomorrow. So, how do you like Beaver Creek and Vail? I love it here. I've actually cooked here quite a few times. Um, bon Appetit Magazine used to have a big culinary ski weekend, and I did those so many times and cooked so many times here, and everybody's super nice, and it's just it's gorgeous here. It's crazy cool. So it's a great time to come and work here and be a part of this weekend. And so I heard you have a documentary that you're co-hosting or hosting and co-producing. Tell us yeah, a bit Yeah, that's right. About um, that. It's going to be really cool. It's hopefully coming out, well, it is coming out this year. Um, we're just finishing the final post-production on it, but it's called Sorry We're Closed. And I interviewed like 50 chef friends of mine all over the country. And it's really um, about how amazing chefs are really like superheroes. It's about their, um, we went into it like pre-pandemic thinking, okay, we're going to talk about um, the state of mind of the chefs. And then it ended up being like so perfect for the, for the crisis going on. Yeah. And of course it's hard because everybody's trying to pivot, but it's not so much about the pivot. It's about how self, self-sacrificing and amazing chefs are yeah. in um, dealing with crisis. So what advice do you have for any aspiring chefs out there? Um, my favorite message to people out there who are either home cooks or just wanting to be a chef is really to um, take care of yourself. It's like you train for something almost like military, and that sounds really hardcore, but it, it's kind of an inten intense job. Like an, I think like an athlete. Yes. That's, you know, less military, more like athlete, but like really, um, you know, it's cooking is super fun, but you're on your feet all the time, so you've got to do stuff that counters that and exercise and eat well. I mean, I, again, I, so, you know, growing up in this wonderful resort and we're surrounded by athletes, I think it's so important, like you said, to fuel your body and your cooking really shows that. And, and so I love the martial arts background that you have and keep inspiring what you're doing. I love it. Thank you and so much. Can I tell you one more thing? Yes. I got to cook with Michaela Schifrin um, about two wow. years ago. I know it was a super That's... big highlight. Um, 
I made up a pasta dish for her. I was we were doing a campaign for Barilla pasta. Oh, I've probably seen that. It was really really fun. Yeah, she that's was so amazing. so cool. Well, well, she's obviously a local here, so that's really exciting. And I have not got to meet her yet, but you have, so that's amazing. Well, well thanks for sharing that info. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a great weekend. We're so excited to have you and looking forward to these events that you're having this weekend. Thank you so much. Thanks, Elizabeth. Mm -hmm.